I started drumming in 1990. Primarily, it had to had to be the ancestors' call, you know, uh, because I had no idea that I was ca being called to the drum. And uh, but I heard the call, and the call said, "Bring me back a drum." And my brother was going home, so I called him and I said, "Bring me back a drum. Bring me back this drum." And he did. And when he brought it back to me. I just started playing and it just started playing me and I became engrossed in this journey uh, with the drum that was opening up my soul and opened me to the middle passage. It opened me to my ancestors, it opened me to understanding about my blackness, it opened me understanding me about spirit, it opened me and gave me more information about the earth and, and so I kept drumming as a way of inquiring more about myself and more about my people and more about how we can utilize this drum as a medicine. I was fortunate because my teachers were women. Um, Deborah McGee was my first teacher who I sought after. Um, my first teacher really was Edwina Lee Tyler. I had a tape. My partner at the time handed me a tape and said, you're going to need this. And I put that tape in and I wore that tape out. Years and years passed by later, maybe 15 years later, and I finally met Edwina Lee Tyler and I played drums and she was like, you're my, you're my daughter. And I said, yes, I am, because you are my mama. And when I first told her that I had that connection, she didn't quite feel it the same way I was feeling it. And then a few years later, when I was drumming again, she was like, oh, yes, yes. So, you know, um, it's an awakening. The drum is about waking up, and it woke me up. The drum put life into my life. It saved my life because I, I felt as though as a child I was constantly miserable and constantly depressed and feeling like I didn't have a place in the world. And it was... It was the drum that woke me up. It was the drum where I felt as though I was part of a lineage, I was part of a legacy, I was part of something positive that I wasn't seeing reflected in the culture, the large white culture, patriarchal culture, wasn't giving me any indication that I was, I was really, um, I was necessary. So that's what fuels me to go on. It's, it's the few, it's not a question of will I drum tomorrow, it, the question is how will I do it? Uh, will I do it by myself or will I do it with a small group or will it be with a large group or will we be walking down the streets for freedom again? Uh, you know, we're at that intersection right now. I'm trying to make the connection with Black Lives Matter and um, and just here, you know, anywhere, just, just allowing for us to develop more of our skills around how we free ourselves mm -hmm. and how we also collaborate and integrate together. This skin and that skin is not where it's at. This is all, this is all surface matter. And we're too scared. We're too, the skin has made us terrified. The skin has made us weak. I just feel like that, you know, you, the, the, the future of this drum movement is us coming together and going, okay, you have a piece, you have a piece, you have a piece, bring it together. Let's do this together.